Team Kill Podcast. Intentional Strays. Oh, what is up, everybody? My name is Killing Spree 37. And I am Silent Sir, coming back from getting the milk. No, you know, you uh you jumped out of your parachute and uh remember you went skydiving and you fucking you fell. I died, huh? Yeah. I never went. <laughs> there you <are>, both <laughs> of scared. us. <laughs> Welcome back to the Team Kill Podcast. Wait, we're not gonna mosey over that. Hold on. Episode 41, guys. Um, so talking about past weekends, we'll talk about that. You canceled? Oh yeah, I just didn't have the time. No. So we rescheduled it. You rescheduled it, okay. Yeah. There's a difference between rescheduling and then canceling. Canceling is uber pussy. Especially <laughs> sure. if you're like, I want to see what I could do, what I'm made mm. of. Yeah. No, but it was it, the fucking weekend. I guess that's why we didn't do the pod for the people that don't know. The fucking week hit me hard, so I had to cancel a lot of shit that I had planned. I was so, a little busy myself, too. I had to reschedule, like, yeah. It's not just all on you. It's, it's like I tell you, everything lands on a Sunday. <laughs> everything. So. Yeah. It really does for some weird ass reason. Yeah. So, Silencer, how was your weekend? Besides being, you know, fucking f- filled with fucking work, which, you know, some say thankful, but I say stressful. Um, It's been, it's been good. It's been a good, uh, good journey. So, remember I told you that I was uh, taking that uh, test for Android development? Yeah. The first, the first assignment, the first course um, went by and... Your boy passed it, so mm-hmm. off to the next one. Okay. And uh, besides that, I finished some, you know, a bunch of uh, little things I had to do here and there. Had to fucking reschedule that damn thing. And I might, uh, you know, pull another little car off my, to crash on. Yeah. So listen, the, <laughs> the, the reason why is because I, I played this, uh, download this game uh wreckfest right <laughs> and it's fun so it just you know in my head i'm like what if i get a cheap ass car and try and find a like a derby um event around here locally which i'm pretty sure i can find one yeah in texas and um yeah i'm gonna fucking take it imagine fucking put your fucking um what do you call it the, the fucking um the helmet on yeah get in the bitch and crash and flip over crash that just sounds fun you gotta modify it don't you and like add a bunch <laughs> of little things so it doesn't really like fail yeah well yeah that's up to the user i mean to the driver so but yeah you can just fucking build it as you wish they don't have any rules so imagine just fucking bolting a bunch of um armor around it and shit i, I got a shitload of scrap at the at the shop at the shop yeah <laughs> from all the fucking everything. from all the metal you stole from all the other cars <laughs> listen headshot it's 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 a side side hustle how people say it this who silencers fucking he shows up to the derby, and then people that, like, had cars that went to shit, and they're like, you know what? Uh, I, I went to the mechanic. I went to hire me to use transmission. The car's just not working out. I'm going to take it over there. Headshot. And then you show up with your little fucking modified car, and it's going to be like, hey, that door looks familiar. <laughs> Headshot. <laughs> that uh, Mercedes <laughs> emblem looks familiar, huh? I wonder why it's not in my car. Yeah, I was like, well, it looks like I'm, I, it looks familiar. My wife might have well, gave me that. <laughs> well you know what you're getting free promotion you know bitch there you go nah, that sounds fun sounds like some uh, texas thing to do a little a little redneckish this one just wants to kill you know? himself he wants to jump <laughs> out of a plane <laughs> fucking get in a kentucky derby a texas a texas ucky derby <laughs> if you ain't you know if you're not living on the edge what the fuck are you living for yeah, yeah, it Listen, nice. I've already, I've already fucking had two accidents. I flipped on one, yeah. <laughs> and it's, uh, it, it's. I mean, besides, you know, almost fucking dying. It's a, it's a fun ride. You know, <laughs> makes what? you, makes you wake up and be like, oh <laughs> shit, I'm still alive. Me and this food sounds are laughing. It's because of inside jokes. So one of the inside jokes that me and sounds are have is that we send each other a hashtag called, I send it to him. So I crash changed you, right? <laughs> Yeah. So that's, we laugh at it and we made like a whole thing about him almost dying. That's how you know, like we were fucked up, like friends to each other. So now every time like one of us goes through something like, like going through a job, something for example, intense. something intense, he'll say blank changed you. So for example, if I'm like, I got my stimulus check, he's like stimulus check changed you. And, uh, <laughs> just shit like that. So that's how we're laughing. Not like we're going to be all laughing when this food Caesar dies, but we got, it's to the point where like we made, we made fun of it so many times. 
You know what they say, make fun of a lot of times. That shit never happens. Yeah. Laugh at death in the face. Laugh at death in the face. Laugh right back. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Another flip. It's all fun times. It's all fun times. Well, listen, my weekend was a little eventful. I've been neglecting the YouTubes. Uh, like I said, I, I would have done a podcast by myself. Uh, I got busy. Like, for those of you that don't know, I might as well just tell anybody, you know what I'm saying? I might as well say something. That way nobody, you know, that way people think that I, I'm not just, like, giving up on YouTube. I had a battle. Yeah. I had 11 days to write for a battle rap. Mm -hmm. And, man, it was so intense. And, like, the opponent was, you know, one of the more established people in the city to battle. And um, I had to write for that. I prepared for that. Like, I pretty much put everything down. Uh, just to do that and just to kind of prove to myself that I could do it. Um, yeah. And if you guys know me, I'm such a procrastinator. I'm such a person that uh, when it comes to everything but YouTube, I procrastinate a ton, right? Uh -huh. And I, I I normally write within the, the 12, 13 days, but it's three rounds instead of one rounds. And this one was okay. one round, so it wasn't that much. It was about like – he said he wrote for four minutes – I didn't wasn't told a time limit. I thought it was five. I wrote for six. Whoop de doo. <laughs> um, <laughs> then from there, I really just started doing some DIY to my desk. Uh, for those of you that don't follow me on Twitter, don't pay attention to the Discord. On the Discord, you see a photo of me installing the arm rest from my old computer chair, and I use it as a a bit of a nice makeshift, really cool stand for my webcam. Now, the, it, it would sound stupid, right? Uh, armrest on your desk. But if it's yeah. perfect, in addition to, it's movable. It can go up and down and back and forward. So I can really adjust it to get an angle that I feel 100% happy with rather than putting it at the top of my desktop where I feel like it's too high. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So that worked out for me. And uh, the real reason why it worked out, to be honest with you, was because I don't have to get on my last setting of height for the chair on my computer chair. And that usually gives like a whole bunch of complications. My feet swell up. Uh, they fall asleep. It's just too high. You know what I'm saying? I'm six foot three and my feet dangle when you put it too high. You know what I'm saying? So. And it gets uncomfortable. <laughs> and when you're fun? streaming and, and you're, you're trying to do things and get the photo, it's just like you got to really go out of your way, you know? So yeah, with the adjustment, the knee, yeah, with the adjustment I was able to make, I got it to the perfect angle to see my face from the side. Uh, it also good lighting. Yeah. And in addition to, like I said, you can adjust it. You don't have to adjust your chair. You can adjust this to fit you and your comfort so you could stream and do long periods of time. I just got done streaming mm -hmm. right now for about like five hours, so it was something. It was something that really helped me out. Uh, other than that, um, back to exercising. I'm trying to get back to my fasting. Uh, unemployment. You know how it is, guys. Fucking, you're at home finally around all all, all this food, all this stuff you haven't ate in a while. So, um, yeah. I'm back to just getting little simple little exercises. I went for a walk today. So just getting into the hang of things and uh, like I said, you know, just getting back to this content grind. But if I if I learned anything, guys, let's be honest, okay? If I learned anything from from taking that break and showing a lot of love, I realized that I miss doing this more than doing battle rap stuff. If we're one hundred percent clear, and if mm -hmm. and if the battle would have went any other way than it did, I would have legit quit from doing that but because it went so well and i found my confidence and the motivation that i had for that uh it's Man. gonna it's still gonna take a back seat but i still want to like really just focus on youtube stuff and then like you kind of said silencer just do that as a way to break the mold break the cycle of me just doing something constantly taking a little break uh stuff like that yeah. so yeah i'm pretty excited sounds good looking yeah. break from the from the normal yeah, you don't need it, it. it's always great. So, uh, did you by chance check out Fast and Furious 9? No. Um, and I'm not going to. 
I'm I'm in between. I just want to see how it ends. That's it. I think that's how they got, they got people in. Uh, see what type of cool, kooky thing they fucking uh, added to the game, which I'm I'm hearing. I'm hearing uh, they they trolled everybody by uh, going where no car has gone before, unless you're Elon Musk. So, uh, which is space. So <laughs> I, I want to see. Uh, see how exactly. dumb that is. Yeah, it sounds it sounds a little is- um, stupid when you say it to yourself. Then that next thing you know, they're gonna fucking be purchable, purchasable characters in fucking Fortnite. Yeah, a fucking <laughs> a car. Imagine being a car with a fucking <laughs> a hammer, just slapping shit. <laughs> and then you got fucking, fucking Vin Diesel talking about family. Yeah, I don't know about that. Family. Listen, let me tell you, family's gonna get you nowhere. <laughs> not not, I mean, not that. Apparently, way. got you to space. Yeah, unless you're fucking Liam Neeson, family's not going to get you anywhere. <laughs> it might have got them to space and fucking related to John Cena. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't know. Um, other than that, before we even f- talk about anything, get into topics, get into rapid fire, we have to, a little bit of sad news, guys. Rest in peace to Fallout 4's dog meat. Uh, he passed away as a senior designer. And you know what? They honored him. They honored her. Her name was River, was which was the real life dog that was the inspiration for Fallout 4's dog meat. Yeah. Um, it's crazy. It's crazy how they use actual dogs for this. And uh, like I said, they had a whole thing where like she was a part of the whole process. She's considered a dev, if believe it or not. Oh, really? Yeah, considered a part of the team, considered, like, she's in credits and shit, and, like, obviously she's immortalized in the game, you know? The most important part, which is Fallout 4. Right. Here's the 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 curiosity question. Do you think she was getting the bag? Um, I think the owner might have been getting the bag, and if we're talking splits, it's probably, like, a 90-10 in favor of owner. Because, listen... I heard about, I don't know if you heard about it, but I've heard about, you know, that, uh, that dog that came out in the Wizard of Oz? Yeah. Apparently, that dog was getting paid, but the owner wasn't getting the money. Yeah, I don't know how that, how <laughs> so that who fucking works. So who the, the fuck contract? gets the money? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I was fucking confused as fuck when I heard that. Yeah, that's a little wild. I mean, you, there'd have to be some type of stipulations to contracts and shit, um, at least on my end. Like, let me tell you, if I have a dog... That is famous TikTok family. You see tons of TikTok dogs, okay? I'm signing the contract, and I'm still breaking bread with the dog. But the dog's not getting the entire thing. Let's be real, okay? A dog's not going to fucking grab its purse, get into its car, and go fucking shopping. Yeah. You got to go do all that stuff, and there's a price to doing it, you know? But, I mean, it has yeah. to be fair, too, that if the dog needs needs, um, vet food. stuff, food, accessories... Yeah. Anything in general, you know, leisure items, you buy it for the dog. You don't hesitate. You don't be stingy, you know. Um, buy them, man. But it seems like from the pictures that they showed on Twitter to honor the dog, we're actually a lot, you know, happy. She had a little scarf, a little handkerchief, and mm-hmm. uh, she looked pretty happy. So a rest in peace to uh, dog meat, also known as River in real life. A little round of applause for her, you know, re- rest in peace. You know what? You know what? You know who else is... As you know, had a fallout and, you know, deserves a little rest in peace. Who? Uh, you, buddy. It's time for a <laughs> rapid fire. Rapid fire. Players ready up. Three, two, one. Silencer is a type of guy to gift subs to Twitch thoughts so they hit their goal to fart in a microphone. Headshot. Disgusting. Mm, a little Disgusting. ASMR, a little ass cheek ASMR, huh? <laughs> That's what you're into, buddy. Headshot. Nah, I don't know about that. That's some nasty, creepy shit. This fool's let me go to the restroom real quick. Turns into the dad that went out for milk and never came back. Headshot. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, speaking of milk, that's what that's what, I know. I'm like I feel like I'm lactose intolerant. That'll make me go to the bathroom a lot longer. So <laughs> that was good. All right. <laughs> This full Caesar is a human speed bump in Warzone. Headshot. Hey, man, you know what? This I try to get pushes, Warzone. You know how you push a squad? This who Silencer pushes a fucking car and doesn't expect them to run his ass over. Headshot. <laughs> so you've heard the, 
you know the phrase tell me tell me something without telling me or something yeah so tell me you're from the homeland without telling me you're from the homeland this fool sends me a picture of him getting down with wood in his desk that he got from Home Depot and tools. Hit marker. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you didn't like my little DIY, huh? <laughs> Fucking DIY, guy. amigo. <laughs> Game All right, time. Over. Time. <laughs> Fucking guy. Listen, it was all free. You know, I still I have yet to got, get rid of the chair, but I'm finding out Don't ways to like use utilize it. You know. I learned from YouTubers, Matt Stoney and cartoons. They said if you're not, if your heart's not into content creating, uh, you will never drill into your own desk. And sure enough, I drilled into it, added a few little modifications to it. To me, it looks good. Uh, I just hope that it transfers well into the content going forward. You know. Which, yeah. by the way, I think all right, we're gonna we're gonna get into some topics, but uh, before I go mm. any further. Let me tell you. So I've I've gotten to read the book right about YouTube. It's called the YouTube Formula by Darrell oh, yeah. somebody right Evans. I think it is. Um, okay. He's he's pretty much like a consultant for Mr. Beast, and they they know YouTube a lot. And I I believe some of the book is even forwarded by uh, Jimmy Dawson, who is Mr. Beast. But in the thing, they start talking about like the thumbnail reader and titles and and stuff like that and how youtube is very sensitive with what it sees and because of its sensitivity it might hinder people's interactions and even reach depending on their name their thumbnail title what's in the video stuff like that right yeah <clears throat> now keep in mind uh killing spree 37 the name really just derived from me Killing 37 people in a row on Modern Warfare 2, right? Okay. It, there was really no thought process behind it. I did, and, then, and when I say that, I say there's also no thought mm -hmm. process into me choosing it as a name for a channel. So I'm kind of in a spot where I feel like I should change my name because I feel that maybe if I do change it, I might get a better reach and that might help me in the long run um, so okay. it wouldn't be nothing drastic right but i was considering changing my name over the weekend and i'm kind of still i've asked the fans they said it's, it's okay they really don't care um but i might be just removing the words killing and 37 and then just going by spree that's what people usually call me by my gamer tag spree they never say killing they never say 37 uh they usually call me spree so i mean dill calls me spree um, you at one point were calling me Spree. And just anybody in general I have interaction with, including the fans, have called me yeah. Spree. So, um, which puts me in a real bind because I just got all these overlays and shit and webcam shit. <laughs> so um, eventually I'm going to change my logo and I'm also just going to go by Spree. So if you guys see me on any social media platforms or stuff like that, it's going to be everything except for the YouTube channel. Um, yeah, I'm going to change my name to Spree. Yeah, that's going to be good. Yeah. What if that is the fucking reason why it's fucking holding your reach back? That'd yeah, be because crazy. I'm I'm reaching like hundreds of thousands of people and the videos are like, they're not translating, you know? And sometimes the content might be trash, you know, on my end. But sometimes I do it so well, it's edited so perfect. And then the reach is like, it's, it's hold back by something yeah. and when i read that book that's what i figured out because not only is the name killing spree as the channel the logo also says the name and anytime i put that logo into something it pops up in the video which youtube's computer things is able to see that and tell them okay it says killing in here don't show this that often right because they had their own issue with their building getting yeah. shot up and shit so um the webcam okay the overlay for the webcam killing spree killing you know it's probably there that's probably what's in my videos and stuff like that so and when i start out the video i usually say hey, what up everybody my name is killing spree and that's where it holds it back so just so anybody knows but yeah, that, i meant to tell you that earlier but yeah just in general so um maybe you should make a just a video when you decide make a like a a minute too many video and then post it on your channel explaining yeah. you're gonna change it and shit yeah that'd be good it's gonna be a, it's gonna be like a whole rollout 
um, for stuff, yeah. like I said. Um, like I said, the only thing that I'm a little mad at is that I just got all the overlays and stuff. But uh, with the same design, I mean, with a new logo and the same color scheme that I have, I mean, it shouldn't be that difficult, you know. So we'll see yeah, how it goes it from be there. there. Yeah, we'll see how it goes from there. But uh, what do you think about it so far before we even go on to the topics? About what? The... Just the overall name change. You think it's 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 good or bad? No, it's good. I mean, like I said, I, I, maybe I do feel like it's holding it back. Now that you mentioned the machine learning bullshit, because I run ads for customers and sometimes one word can throw off the whole impression and reach. So yeah, definitely, it's definitely something to consider. Yeah, I'm gonna do that, and I think I think more marketable too. Spree, do you know what I'm saying? Mm. That's that's a little easier. So, um, the yeah. green card spree. Yeah, you know, I'm getting a what is it? I'm getting my green card. Is that what you said? <laughs> <laughs> the green card spree. <laughs> it's gonna be like that's gonna be my name, Killington Spreewell. And it's gonna be Spree. Damn, that's how they're gonna remember their memory by. All right, so, um, so my rapid fire joke contains something about being gifted subs, a fart in a microphone. Uh, Silencer, you know these Twitch thoughts out here are, are real creative, right? Oh, yeah, I can tell. Somebody would say too creative. They're a new breed. Somebody would say they came from a different website, a different mindset. And this okay. proves exactly why Twitch was supposed to put the fucking nail in the coffin and decided not to, okay? And okay. Moranth, I don't know her name. It's the redhead white chick, Okay. Am Moranth is Moran? I don't know. Uh, temporarily banned for ASMR ear licking stream in Twitch. <laughs> now, for yeah. those of you that kind of don't remember, she is also the head honcho, the leader of the brigade of the hot sub streams that took the internet by storm. Uh, had everybody from T Food to Courage JD doing hot tub streams right because it was the meta it was yeah. the meta it was a way to get noticed it was a way to get some coin you know what i'm saying from the young lusty you know little kids musty now uh they she also decided to do ear licking asmr which i thought was crazy right so they banned her temporarily banned until they understand exactly what her purpose was in doing the content. Okay. Um, myself, I don't see this being content and that it's on YouTube too, right? People whispering, yeah, people yeah. biting food, dogs biting food, people like it just it doesn't stop, right? You would think that this would be a thing for like deaf people, like for people so they could hear and kind of understand what things are. When they come back, like, let's say they have a surgery, you know, and they can yeah. finally hear like, oh, this is the sound of a car. And then it's a car, you know, that's where I could see that content being useful. Right. Or even pronouncing certain words. That way you don't look like an asshole when you say them. Right. Yeah. There's a whole there's a whole ecosystem of that. But ear licking streams. And that's why I was making the thing because some harlotin down there was uh, having a sub goal. And she said if she reached a sub goal of 150 people, she would fart into a microphone. Not this one in particular. Another one that was following her footsteps. She would fart into a microphone if she reached 150 subs and people to hear her fart in the microphone we're gifting subs like crazy if you don't know what gifting subs is silencer and for the people at home gifting subs is a sub let's say is 4.99 right to become an exclusive member to this person yeah this person was paying 4.99 per sub and giving it out to people for free so he can hear her nasty ass fucking spread her cheeks and fart in that microphone and get pink eye the next day. Disgusting. Terrible. So first off, how do you feel about all this? I mean, besides Twitch's double standards, this is definitely not a ASMR. This is this is fetish in the work. It's porn. It's, it's yeah. Like I can see. It, it, let's just be what it is. It's softcore porn. Okay. You can't. I, you can't. 
you can't fucking see this kind of shit and, you know, deny the fact that this is a fetish type of work that'll be in some kind of damn adult website as a fucking category. Yeah, like ASMR is already a category, but ear licking? You know what I'm saying? What's next, moaning? Yeah, I can see that. You know? Like, I can see these kids putting the fucking phone to their ear and fucking whacking off the way that she's fucking licking it, pretending she's giving head or something. There's there's a level of 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 naivete oh. to think that this isn't a good thing. So apparently the ear licking is a thing that it's a staple of Japanese virtual reality, you know, porn. And yeah. so yeah, anybody that you know that this says, no, this is not sexual, blah blah blah. It's just being stupid. Yeah, Japanese, I mean, like, when they do stuff like that, they blur out the, the body parts and everything. Like, they they find ways to, like, do it without doing it, you know? Yeah. And getting in trouble or whatever. So, it's it's porn. It's softcore porn. And they're in a bind now because if, if, if this goes against standards, right? Or if it, like, if it's like a double standard, let's say, uh, last time they reported it, they said they were doing everything within Twitch's guidelines. And I'm pretty sure they, if she's doing this, I'm pretty sure she found another loophole within it. They're going to have to seriously change their terms of service because there's no way that you can do this and be on the platform. But calling somebody a simp, which is a word in the dictionary, okay, or yeah. um, another word that's in the dictionary, you can't sit there and and ban people permanently when stuff like this is allowed to go on, you know? Yeah. So, uh, I... That's how you in. know we're going on a, on a deep, deep, very deep, steep down with the internet these days. Because what's next? What's next? What is next? Yeah, this, yeah, this is already happening. And, you know, we, we, you know, we went through the pandemic. We went through a lot of shit. And now you have these fucking dumbass people trying to figure out what the hell to do. Right. That makes... And... How, did, how is this going to look towards, um, you know, the younger generation? This is just building stupid, more more stupid kids to grow up and not be intelligent. You know what? You know what? I think you might have brought it into, a, like, a different, darker criminal link. What if, okay? I don't know what the streaming age is for Twitch, okay? Huh. But it's young. Let's say, let's say 13. Let's say 16. 13. Okay. 13, right? You're 13. You're watching Ammer or whatever the fuck. Do ear ASMR, right? All right, cool. Yeah. You as a 16, 13 year old is like, I'm going to do it too. You're attracting pedophiles. That's kid porn. Yeah, true. What? Like, it's attracting. Didn't think like, of that. Yeah. That, the, now you're going to fucking have grown ass men in their fucking 40s telling fools, hey, look that fucking shit like that. I'll donate if you fucking put <laughs> it all in your mouth. Imagine. <laughs> A fucking, yeah, a fucking 40, 50 year old saying that to a fucking 16 year old. It's crossing the line, bro. I keep telling you, there's a Damn. line that's been, that has to be drawn. So, and I, like Which I said, being stupid. once you said the kid, the kid thing, I was like, wait, I was like, whatever the age is, even if the age is 16, okay? Yeah, you're just you're telling like, her, you're just crotch, you're, you're yeah. touching different kinds of grounds. Yeah, you're, you're, you're not thinking straight, so. Uh, they need to go over their terms of service. They need to go ahead and uh, do something with this girl as soon as possible because I'm scared of what she could accomplish next. You know, there's getting your money, and, and then the there's kind of come behind. Yeah, and then fucking doing this type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, only uh, and speaking of which, too, I keep telling people to go to OnlyFans, right? But their system, their platform is soon to undergo some type of mainstream buyout which is going to opt out anybody that was doing adult content off of the platform and putting out potentially anybody that was making a lot of money from that platform uh, out of a job because they're going to remove adult content to make it more mainstream and marketable to people that could actually put in money like stocks and stuff. Ah, okay. So Damn, that means a lot of fucking these dumbass girls are going to actually have to get skills. Or just go back to Twitch and see, you know, see what they can do. And it's not women hating. It's just, I don't, I don't see that as content. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That is, I, I go to there to see like funny stuff, entertainment stuff, 
streaming quality content. That is not quality content. That is softcore porn uh, that yeah. you can go to any other fucking place and see. And they're getting paid a lot of money because the platform is a huge platform. And they would get lost in the other platforms. You know what I'm saying? Because it's so common over there. Yeah, so. true. Uh, I'd love to see what happens next. But I'm, I'm a little scared because they, they did this last time. They said it was okay. And people did it. And now we're heading into the, like I said, we're heading down a little spiral of her constantly, constantly being in, being banned uh, for these, um, these like edgy things, you know? Yeah. So, uh, any last words on this topic? I don't know. Hopefully they fucking save it before it comes into this fucking mass disgusting shit. Yeah. for the kids yeah especially, especially for the kids you know what i'm saying you don't mold content creators by doing this you you Did you, you see that do other that shit. horse that horse shit that she was doing <laughs> nah was it nasty or what <laughs> this is fucking weird what is it exactly? i just saw that it's just her in a fucking um what the fuck is it a fucking some kind of fucking stupid suit with the horse mask fucking trying to do something oh. with the microphone. Fucking trying to, I don't know, deep throw or some shit. Oh my. <laughs> All right. We're getting off of the topic. <laughs> it's so stupid. She's getting creative, guys. Next what thing you know, she's going to fucking, she's going to turn in, she's going to turn into the Miss Frizzle and have everybody, a little microphone going into her body. Digesting the smallest mind. little thing. I don't know. We'll get off of that. <laughs> um, Activision again is in some hot water. <laughs> Or at least they thought they were because wrestler legend Booker T was suing them because he felt like he was a character that was used and his likeness was portrayed in Black Ops 4. Oh, yeah? Yes. So he, was, he ended up, well, it was like a known, like an African, African-American one uh, that looked like him, right? Looked like him. A little different, right? But he showed a picture of what he looked like in that type of suit, which could have been the thing that they actually used, right? So they actually ended up using and that transferred over onto the other picture. So he ended up losing the lawsuit because Damn. they said that it didn't look like him. But for the average fans like you and I, if you look at the photo, you can see that there's a clear resemblance of I'm him. Check it out. Yeah, check it out. Well, I keep talking uh it's it's hard to tell we came across this from resident evil uh they were suing somebody for likeness uh characters were looking like their other characters from their movies it's a little tweaked out a little different it's it's a thing that developers seem to keep doing because making original characters is a lot harder now for certain people than it is for like in general you know like, now they're actually remapping people and adding them into the game. They're paying for their likeness, and then somebody else will do their voice. Or you're even getting paid to do their voice, you know? Oh, I see. Now, I see the picture side by side, yeah? Yeah. I can see a big, a big um, similarity. That's crazy, right? Hell, yeah. So, There's no way they're going to fucking say they didn't copy. I know. They, they said it, and guess what? Big company against Booker T. Legend. I mean, I would have even reached out to WWE if it was one of the outfits. Yeah. I would love to see big companies versus big companies. Big money versus big money. WWE versus Activision, uh, what would happen? You know what I'm saying? They didn't even settle. They just flat yeah. out lost. So that's a little crazy for me, you know? Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's wild. So do you feel like it's it's a more common thing, like more... Uh, the more they try to like come up with quote unquote original characters, they're just gonna really try to steal it from people because maybe it's a budget thing or they feel like they just can't create nothing out of thin air. I don't know. I mean, when you have a big ass creative team that can fucking pop out all these fucking monthly or season um, skins for guns and uh, skins for other characters, I mean, you can definitely fucking sit there take like a month or even a couple weeks to fucking come up with this cool idea for a character. Right. You can't, you can't sit there and build a game and say, 
Like literally build the game from scratch, design everything, design the fucking environment, and then sit there and say, "Oh yeah, it's we can't fucking come up with the games. I mean, uh, a new character, so let's just fucking try and copy one." Yeah. Like if you get to that point, you're just fucking in the creativity fucking game. Well, and then you have to remember too that there's a quota. You know what I'm saying? There's a deadline. There's a quota. Um, people's jobs are on the line, and even though that that's the case, I, I don't think you should flat out plagiarize somebody's likeness and then fucking not give them credit for it. You know what I'm saying? Especially us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Us, the smaller guys. You're doing it to bigger people, well established people that might be able to fight back, as Booker T did, but he failed. But when they do it to us, when they do it to like little Twitch thoughts where they put them in the game and they start put like. It happens uh, way too often, you know? Yeah. It happens way too often that they do it. So I thought in general that they should just kind of like dial back on making quote unquote original characters and then just start paying these assholes for their likeness. That's it. Cut them a check. Yeah. Cut them a check. Save yourself the money, you know? But like even, even then, like this, uh, this one with Booger T, if they fucking changed the hair or just something, it would have literally not been an issue. Yeah. But these think, assholes yeah. decided to fucking go all out and be like, nah, fuck that. They're not going to notice. And look what happened. Yeah. Years later, too. Years later. I'm pretty yeah. sure he got the comparisons and stuff like that. And, you know, they, they, they have a bunch of voice actors and voice people that the, the models, face models and shit, like face and body models. And yeah. voice actors. They have a lot of that. You know what I'm saying? And they're all TikTok famous. And they get walked up to, like, are you this person? And they're like, yeah. I can pretty sure, I can, like, bet 100% they did that to Booker T. Yeah, it's fucking weird. I don't know. Yeah. No, it's 100% weird. Yeah. No, it's, it's a little crazy, you know? Like I said, I, I, we, need to get out, we need to get out of that, you know? Because I think, like I said earlier, um, they stopped making original characters and it got so easy to fucking take photos of these guys and put them in the game that they just, the creativity for certain people aren't there, you know? Yeah, but when you look at all these other games that are popping out yearly, year in year, they have fucking original characters. And for one big brand like this to say that they don't have the power or the manpower to fucking create originals, it's kind of ridiculous on their end. Yeah, it's a little bad. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what the next gaming company is, but I'm pretty sure it's not the last one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So, speaking of copyrights, Nintendo at it again. If you guys uh, aren't surprised that Nintendo has some type of copyright issue, uh, they with will. Everything. They did it with Ethica when they were trying to make their own little Joy Cons. They did it with their E3 stream where they wouldn't let third party people stream. Their E3 mm -hmm. thing, right? <clears throat> yeah. A guy, a YouTuber, a content creator, spent three years making a GoldenEye map on Far Cry 5. It took the internet by storm, went viral. It looked like it to a T. Okay? Okay. Just announced Ubisoft removes it because of copyright issues and if you played GoldenEye Nintendo 64, uh -huh. it wasn't on any other system that I know of. Yeah. Who do you think asked for it to be removed? Fucking your, your Nintendo? Nintendo, the douchebags. Yes, guys. This guy spent three years doing this stuff. Three years of his own life making this map. And Ubisoft was ordered to remove it due to copyright issues. Yeah. How do you feel about that? I don't know. This is how you fucking lose loyalty from a brand. For sure. So, uh, it was made in arcade mode. <clears throat> they removed it. Remember, it was... it's fan-made, too. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just... You know, if, if I was the creator of this game, I would be extremely happy and, you know, excited that a fan fucking created such shit because yeah. of a game that I built. Yeah. It's an issue that I had with EA Sports when I would make my own characters such as Spider-Man, the Hulk, etc. Yeah. and UFC 3. 
and they felt away. They felt away. If they could tell me not to do it, uh, they probably would have, right? They probably would have dropped yeah. a dime on me if it was something serious. And some of the characters, let me tell you, they looked they looked pretty good. Uh, the project was by YouTuber Crawley Wood, which took over three years and 1,400 hours to complete. It featured iconic levels such as the dam opener and cradle finale recreated in painstaking detail. So, uh, actually, it wasn't. It was a Nintendo. Well, it's kind of Nintendo. I'm pretty sure Nintendo dropped a dime. Um, copyright claim was actually from MGM. U Ubisoft has removed the levels for download. It is now unlikely that will ever be restored for consoles, although there may be workarounds for PC models. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. So here's an official statement from the YouTuber. It says... Ubisoft sent me mail because they got one from MGM. I think the reason is that this project becomes more popular after three years now. And because IGN, Kotaku, etc. made an article, many people know about it now. Yes, what can I say? It's really sad, but my work isn't deleted because I save the levels on my PS4, on PS Plus Cloud, and USB stick. I don't know if there is a legal way to upload them again, but... I'm on the radar, I think, is what he says. Damn, that's wild. They're going to fucking keep an eye on his ass. Yeah, it sucks. And you know what? I'm surprised they haven't even went out of the channel. Because he yeah. pretty much shows how to do it. It's it's in great detail. He didn't miss. It looks beautiful. But, like I said, copyright will ruin a lot of things. Um, fan made, like I, like I said... The likeness of certain things is it shouldn't go that far. It shouldn't. Because it looks like yeah. it doesn't mean that it is it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you even if you took characteristics and the name and you put it in there, um, it's fan made. You know how long it took to make that? Like it, it's not the exact uh program, the exact map, you know? Yeah. That's that sucks. This is stupid. Yeah, it sucks. It sucks. It's to be expected by about anything. Uh, I'm surprised, like I said, I, I, I thought I've said this already. I'm surprised that we're even allowed to make YouTube videos with video games. Because yeah. we're literally streaming the games. We're playing them. We're showing hacks. We're, sh we're showing a bunch of things, you know? Yeah. And... Like, I'm waiting for the day for them to be like, you know what? We're not doing that. Because for them, it's a positive thing, right? As a marketing scheme, right? To draw yeah. interest, generate interest into that certain thing. I'm pretty sure people played this and was like, damn, you know what? Where's a where's a brand new Nintendo where I can buy this and fucking play Nintendo 64? I missed that game. That's a sell for Nintendo and for uh, MGM for the GoldenEye game. Yeah. That's um, right. Yeah. It sucks. So, what are your last thoughts on this? I don't know. I think it's stupid. I don't know why why they're doing this. Like you said, it could have brought some sales. Confused yeah. as to why the fuck they went this far and did all this shit. Even like a next-gen fucking adaptation where people could have bought it. Like, this could have been huge. You know? This could have led into like a lot of hype. Free hype. Free promotion. You know? But the only thing I can think of is um, if you, I don't know, maybe they did this because if you're a developer for games, um, you can definitely just fucking copy this, paste it in your own fucking game, and recolor it or whatever, and then boom, you'll have a this kind of shit around in your game. Right. And I, that's I the only that thing. Too. That's the only thing that I can see why Nintendo's doing that because that gives not to the creator who made this or for the fans. But this, I think, this leaves like the whole door wide open for game developers to copy their shit. Going back to the whole Booger T shit where they just copy shit. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that's true. Um, my last well, thoughts on it really is just that there has to be a line between fan made and official copyright stuff. You know what I'm saying? If somebody From were to put my. Yeah, if somebody were to fucking draw my logo, I'm not going to sit there and fucking sue the fuck out of them. You know what I'm saying? I'll sue the fuck out of them when they're selling it. 
and they're putting it on merch, like the actual, you know, my actual merch, yeah. and they're printing it up. I'll do that, you know. But when it's fan made, I there should know. be a law that fucking covers fan made shit. There usually is like a fan made parody under the parody copyright thing. I don't know if you draw it somehow that it's it's a if it's not I mean, actual copyright. Yeah, it's kind of. There's a law against it, but I just there's a lot of loopholes and stuff, you know. These companies know what they're doing. They have the best lawyers. Oh yeah. All right. They don't give a damn. So, speaking of companies, okay, we got like one or two more topics, and then we'll end the podcast, guys. Thank you for staying with us. We appreciate you. Now, you know who doesn't appreciate you, especially if you're PlayStation fans. Hmm. Bushida. Bushida's oh, yeah? Pete Hines acknowledged the frustration many PlayStation fans had over the con- confirmation that Starfield is officially an Xbox console exclusive. Now, it's not really an exclusive for console because they're also putting it on PC, which is Microsoft. Um, oh, yeah. Let's be real, okay? Another one. Who the fuck is looking out for this game? <laughs> <clears throat> Silencer, I'm, you're laughing, but I'm asking. I'm really asking you. Who the I fuck is looking know. out for this fucking Starfield game, bro? I don't know, man. You'd be surprised. Maybe all these fucking assholes just going to come out of nowhere and fucking, I need it. You know? Hold on. Let me see how it's I'm like. Playing. It's like the, it's like the fucking, um, like you would think fucking the, the Star Wars fans, you know, it's the same thing with this. Right. Well, you know, there were actually in talks, Sony was, to get Starfield, and obviously they went to a different direction, right? Yeah. They went to a different direction. Doesn't matter. Um, I don't see the hype with this game. We don't have footage. We don't have nothing besides the cover art, the name, and the trailer used and stuff. I don't even think this goes back into another game. I could be wrong, okay? I could 100% be wrong, but I don't... I don't see the hype with this game at all. I don't. It's probably going to end up like another fucking uh, cyberpunk. It, it might be. It just might be. So I wouldn't um, doubt it. Yeah. You know, it's it was supposed to be the most anticipated game. I wasn't anticipating it. I looked for it. I saw a lot of rumors, a lot of screenshots. I uh, didn't look the best. Even like I, I'm still looking for like the series of it to see what the exactly the game is. Cause I think I might've seen it, but I'm not sure, you know? Yeah. So I'm, I'm ready to see exactly what the fuck the, the first week numbers do and the overall popularity of the game, because people complaining about it is like a little weird, you know, especially when you do, you don't think it's going to be the best. That's just just weird. Yeah. Yeah. It's a little weird. So we'll mosey on over that. Um, I've never seen Sony apologize. That's all I got to say. And no, for no. for the guy to get bought out by Xbox to acknowledge that there's frustration and apologize seems like you might have made you, you think to yourself you might have you might have made the wrong decision, you know? Yeah, true. It seems a little bit weird. So, well, we'll keep moving on. Uh Rockstar announced it's ending its PS3 and Xbox 360 support for GTA Online. Uh, December 2021. How do you feel about that? It's, I mean, are we surprised? It's already fucking overdue. Well, you would say that, right? Until well, you the realize. PS3? Well, I mean, but you still have GTA Online is still a thing, you know, popular. Yeah, but I mean, I don't know. I feel, I feel like if they don't put a stop to it, they're not going to be able to get them to advance into a new generation. Yeah, I, I, that's kind of true. I think it's still weird that a lot of PS3 games are actually still working on the fucking on on servers. You know, not that they like should like die out soon, but I mean the PS3 is actually Max so Payne. Long ago. Like I play that game, but I mean for it to be barely ending, I had no idea it had that much fucking traction going for it. Well, yeah, it's it's just a support, or like the online shit. Yeah. That's all it truly is doing. Like player versus player or player versus everything. So Yeah, but still still keep it since still fucking 
Did it launch? I don't even. When the fuck did that game even launch? Like 2013. I'd have to check it out. It's definitely like an old, old game. Max that's that's game when the, uh, that's when the fucking graphics were all fucking boxy. Yeah, that's when they weren't like the best. Max Payne Three. Do you have a date in mind? 2009. Nah, I was way ahead of its time. Uh, 2012, May 15th. Oh, okay. So, it's it's almost about 10 years. Yeah. Just about. That's I just wild. think it's funny because, like, GTA is still out here and is still being vibrant. And I think to make way for the PS5 servers, they have to get rid of the threes and then they move on to the fives. And eventually when they add in all the newer content they're supposed to be trying to add, we'll see what happens, you know? Yeah, that's true. That's fucking crazy. I, I'm, I would love to talk to anybody that has fucking GTA Online on PS3 and see what they fucking say about it. See how they feel about it. That's a good, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Maybe one of your our viewers have a fucking PS3. Yeah, hopefully. Let me know, guys, in the comment section if you guys have a PS3, and uh, we'll invite you onto the podcast. And uh, I would love to hear exactly what you guys did on fucking on that system with on GTA Online. If you have everything. We'll compare, you know. Um, the last topic, it's kind of a big one. It's kind of um, crazy because Is it's it? a really a safety thing. As a streamer, uh, are you familiar with swatting? Swatting? Yes, this is when a streamer or somebody, their IP address is leaked. And mm, these okay. guys... Uh, drop a dime and say, yeah, this guy has fucking kitty porn. This guy has fucking a meth lab, X, Y, and Z. This guy is fucking a terrorist wow. and has bombs and shit. And SWAT will come bust on your fucking door while you're on stream or just in general, and they will give you a hard time, right? Yeah. It's a popular thing in uh, gaming. It's one of the fears that I have of streaming because you don't know exactly... Uh, what's going to happen. Okay. Now. There was a guy. Who was sentenced to 20 years for a fake 911 call. That led what the to fuck? kill an innocent man. Right. That's not the story. But that is what happened. Right. Yeah. A California man was sentenced to about 20 years. Uh, for phoning a false hostage threat. While he did it, okay? Mm -hmm. Which led to somebody getting killed. Uh, the, the two guys were playing Call of Duty online at the time, okay? That's all I have to say about that. It happens. Now, yeah. an update slash bug in the latest version of Marvel's Avengers accidentally showed players' IP addresses. And while they were streaming, things were going awry, right? Eventually, a lot of people got a hold of this information, and they said, you know what? Do not stream until we get this fixed. A well, hot fix is deployed, and they got it patched. But um, for the people that don't know, I mean, an IP address, I mean, that's like that's like giving your ad the internet your address. Oh, yeah, you can find a bunch of shit with that. Yeah, like that's that's... I mean, like, I'm not really, like, a techie person. You know more than I do. What what can people do with access to an IP address? You can find the location where they live, their IP, their internet search provider, a bunch of shit. And after you track it, you can. there's some software that basically tells you what the fuck you've been doing online. So you can track their history, all that shit. Yeah, which is another, like, a violation of privacy, you know? So. Yeah. Um, are things like this concerning for a person that may or may not get this game? It should be concerning to everybody. Right. That's what I thought it was too. So they deployed a hot fix. It's fixed as of a couple of days ago, but a lot of streamers lost a lot of footage. Yeah. You know, they lost a lot of footage because they had to fucking put their stream in private damn well delete it hopefully no clips are circulating with the actual ip address it put a lot of people at risk 
And granted, you know, the fucking game isn't the best. You know, it's Marvel's Avengers. Come on now. Who the fuck is playing that? It was a free game at one point, and I still didn't get it. They were they were hyped about this launch, and man, this, this fucking hurt them. Yeah, and I think it might even translate to Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy. I think yeah. so. I think that they, they ruined Avengers, and they're going to the... You know, the other side of the, the bad guys, you know, the good bad guys, uh, Thor and all them other guys, they're going to try no. to do that with them. And I think it's not going to, I think this is going to be a reason why people don't play it, you know, because I've always thought like, where do people see your IP address? And sometimes it pops up on certain things and like, it'll block it for you. But in this case, imagine you're streaming, you, you, somebody calls you something stupid you respond, you hurt their feelings, they see the IP address, they they get curious, they start doing some <laughs> yeah. Googles, they show up to your house and try to fuck you up. Yeah, that's wild. It's a little wild. So, I'll leave that there. And I think, like, we did enough podcasting for today. It's Like I said, it's our first week back from our little mini vacation. About a week. Um, other than that, I feel like I had a good podcast. I thought, like, we touched on a lot of topics. Uh, we definitely got our, got our jokes out the way. You know what I'm saying? We're back, you know? And like I said, guys, Silencer was busy. I was busy. Uh, it's not going to be like an ongoing thing, especially for me. Like, if he's busy, uh, I'm going to try to find a friend, you know, to see if they'll fill in for him real quick. Because that poor Silencer, yeah. he's he's juggling like four things at once. Poor guy. <laughs> Fucking guy. Mama didn't raise no bitch. Mama didn't raise no bitch. All right, Silencer, what is your advice at the end of the day get an xbox <laughs> that's it <laughs> fuck you guy <laughs> get a fucking xbox that's true xbox wouldn't have these problems listen and when you get an xbox make sure you fucking pre-order starfield because apparently <laughs> that's the fucking game of the year contender <laughs> <laughs> and with that being said guys my name is killing spree 37 my name's silencer we're out Give me some chun chun. The champion of the world, Killing Spree 37!